At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a diner where a man named Peter has come to have dinner, but the sounds around him start disturbing him. Well, Peter is a CIA agent whose parents used to serve in the military, but during his youth, there was an attack on the house in which Peter's parents were killed. This attack had a deep impact on Peter because after this attack, Peter's hearing ability had increased by leaps and bounds. So Peter became very alert to the surrounding sounds. He was worried, but his ability is liked by CIA officer Brian. After which we are shown a scene from the present where his superior Byrne has come to meet Peter. But before they can talk, Peter gets a call from his wife, Ellen. She starts assuring Peter that she will return home after completing this last mission. Well, Peter's wife, Eleanor, is pregnant and now she wants to retire after completing her mission. So after listening to Eleanor, Peter takes a sigh of relief. It seems because Peter's wife also used to work in the CIA like him, where she, the child's life could be in danger. After which Peter is informed by his superior, Brian, that he will have to complete an assignment soon because a gangster named Miles has got hold of classified files of CIA, which now he wants to sell to the Russians. So we have to stop this deal at any cost. After which we are shown the scene of the parking lot where Miles was about to make a deal with the Russians. But before the time of the deal, Peter arrives here who stops Miles, captures it and puts his device on his watch. Obviously Miles stores all the data on his watch, which Peter wanted to download before Miles died. Then a fierce fight starts between these people, but Peter is an amazing fighter who beats up these people when after downloading. I wanted to take Miles to the top. Then here comes another unit of CIA and surprisingly, Peter's wife Eleanor was also present in this unit as if she should have been doing a desk job instead of a field. Then after seeing their destruction, Miles would have opened fire. This passes through Peter and gets attached to Eleanor, who seeing all this starts panicking because of this. His wife and children were in danger due to the bullet, after which we are shown a scene 17 years later where Peter has retired and started living a normal life, now making paintings to meet his expenses. But still he could not forget his wife during that incident. Eleanor was shot and their daughter was killed as soon as she was born. An accident which the lady is not able to avoid in such situations. People often make mistakes and Eleanor was about to do something similar because she got angry and divorced Peter. After knowing this, Peter was completely broken. After which we are shown the present day CIA headquarters from where Eleanor used to operate. But one day she comes to know about a CIA program where the CIA kidnaps children and uses them to brainwash them. When she used to wash, Eleanor starts trying to save these children, but the agent sent by her is killed on the way. Knowing this, the lady gets very scared because the CIA might have come to know about her investigation, which is planning to start their project. If she wanted to eliminate Eleanor and her team in order to keep the secret, lady would have thought about this data. She uploads the files to the pen drive, while on the other hand, we are shown Peter who finishes his work and goes away. Well, the bar owner Lucy used to like Peter, so the closeness between them grows. It seems that Peter also wants to forget the old things and start a new one, but it is not going to be so easy because the very next day, a parcel arrives for Peter, which he is very surprised to see because he recognizes it at a glance. He thought that the parcel must have been sent by his wife, Eleanor but he had no idea that because of this parcel. What little life is left of him is about to be blown to pieces. And then a few days pass when Peter crosses Lucy like every day. But today, a girl named Sophia has come to meet him, whom Peter considers her father. She starts making claims, but Peter does not believe her because his daughter was killed as soon as she was born. But Sophia starts to assure him that she is Eleanor's daughter. Hearing this, Peter was very upset and came home in a bad mood. He returns, but Sophia is so excited that she follows Peter to his house and seeing him there, Peter becomes very excited. He is upset, so he starts interrogating the girl about Eleanor. But before the girl can tell him anything, a CIA unit arrives here who obviously wants to kill Peter, but Peter's ears are too much. He senses the presence of these people from a long distance, so he gets ready for the fight after which a fierce fight starts between these people, in which Peter starts beating these people and quickly kills all the agents. When they go, Peter starts searching for these people and surprisingly, these people are sent by the CIA. 
Peter is very confused after knowing why the CIA wants to kill him after 17 years. But then he realizes that these people might have come here following Sophia. So he decides to save the girl's life because he wants to find out that Sophia is his daughter. After which these people go to Peter's friend, Niles, who used to be an amazing hacker. So Peter starts getting him to hack the CIA so that this matter can be found out. It could be found out who might have given the orders to kill Peter, but these people were stunned to see this. It is revealed that no one had given orders to kill Peter, seeing which Peter understands that an off the record operation is being conducted to kill him. After which we are shown the headquarters of CIA, where department head Naomi declares Peter a traitor. Well, this lady wants to kill Peter, but due to the failure of the plan, she frames Peter and then Naomi goes to Prine's house with Agent Kim because of that guy Peter. Besides being Burns' superior, he was also his adopted father. Obviously, they want to find out Peter's location through Byrne, but the old man does not give them any information, and Naomi is very upset. So she starts warning the old man that your son has stolen the CIA files. So now the CIA wants to get those files. Brian was very upset after knowing all this, so he started contacting Peter through his secret phone. The job was hiding in a motel with Sophia, so Peter started questioning his father about why the CIA wanted to kill him after 17 years. Brian informs him that we cannot do these things on the phone and that you should contact me as soon as possible. After thinking about something, Peter goes to meet Byrne, where Byrne is happy to see his son safe. But Peter directly starts asking him why the CIA wants to kill him and then the old man clears him. He says that the orders to kill you must have been given by department head Naomi. But Peter is still very confused, so Byrne clarifies to him that today Agent Naomi had come to meet me, according to which you had stolen the classified files of the CIA. And now Agent Naomi starts asking him about Sophia, but the old man makes it clear to her that Sophia, she has probably been working for the CIA because your daughter had died at birth. Peter starts questioning whether the lady's appearance is similar to Eleanor's or not. That girl is Eleanor's daughter. So the old man goes with Peter to his hotel room where he points the gun at Sophia as soon as he sees her. Obviously, he wanted to do this to Sophia, so the lady makes it clear to him that her parents are Eleanor and Peter and they are also in. She gives information about Eleanor's secret to the people after knowing they understand that the girl is probably Eleanor's daughter but these people, they did not understand why this girl wanted to meet Peter. So Sophia made it clear to them that my mum had kept me hidden for 17 years. But a few weeks ago, my mum had completely disappeared. Peter becomes alert because disappearing in a CIA agent career can be very dangerous. So the old man uses his old contact to inquire about Eleanor. But after hearing the answer from his contact, the old man is completely devastated because Eleanor had died a few weeks ago in whose death the CIA was involved. So after knowing all this, Peter and Sophia would have been completely devastated. But now Brian was alerted and was asking Peter about the last time you came in contact with Eleanor. Probably she might have given you some information to get. Now the CIA wants to kill you. Then Peter remembers that a few days ago he had received a parcel from Eleanor in which Eleanor had gifted him two books. Then Peter realizes that there is something hidden in those books. If the CIA wants to achieve this, he hands over his daughter to Byrne and goes away because he wants to check those books as soon as possible. When he tears the covers of that book, he finds a pen drive and the CIA wants to acquire this pen drive. Then after knowing all this, Peter realizes that the reason behind the data in this pen drive is his wife was killed and it was because of this pen drive that he was attacked. On the other hand, Daniel Ajat, the murderer sent by Naomi to Peter's house is very impressed after seeing the murder done by Peter. But even after a lot of searching, he was not able to find him. The pen drive is not visible, but while leaving, he learns about Lucy's bar. So he crosses Lucy's path to find Peter. While he treats Lucy like an interrogator, but since Lucy does not want to make her lover bitter, Daniel tortures her badly and brings her to the top. While on the other hand, Peter goes to meet his hacker. Obviously, when the hacker wanted to access his pen drive, the hacker easily unlocked this pen drive. And surprisingly, there is data related to the internship project inside this pen drive. As if even before these people could access it, something is heard. 
Obviously, the killer sent by Naomi has come here tracking him. Before the killer could shoot at Peter, he dodged it, but the killer was fully prepared and started emitting a kind of high-frequency whistle, which started affecting Peter. Well, Peter, the killer's ability to hear is very sharp, and he wants to use it against him. So Peter starts feeling pain due to the sound of the whistle, so he leaves from here with a pen drive to save his life. But his hacker friend, his luck was not so good as he dies a very bad death at the hands of Daniel. And as we come to know, it is revealed that Daniel also has special abilities. His vision has now changed from normal. Peter goes to Lucy's bar in an injured condition. But by now, Lucy is dead and Peter is completely relieved after seeing her dead body. He breaks down because he has a good idea that Lucy's death might have been caused by him. So he controls his pen and starts accessing the pen drive where the data files related to the internship project are stored was present. And inside these data files, he found a recorded video of Eleanor, which obviously Eleanor had recorded for Peter. Eleanor starts informing him that the CIA is completely corrupt and now they want to create assassins with special abilities like you. Peter also becomes serious after knowing this, but the lady continues. She says that Sia has been kidnapping children for 17 years and at the same time she makes it clear to Peter that Sophia is her daughter. After hearing this, Peter gets consoled but now he is very confused that his daughter was born as soon as she was born. She was dead, so how could her daughter be alive? But before he could reach the hotel room, the CIA agents arrested Sophia. Peter, kidnapped by the CIA, chases his daughter to save her. The CIA people attack him and he escapes, entering the jungle. Brian consoles him and they access the pen drive. They learn that the CIA has been kidnapping children for a long time, training them to increase their senses. Peter becomes serious after learning about the CIA's artificial abilities. The pen drive virus activates, deleting the remaining data. Brian feels relieved instead of upset. Peter doesn't pay attention as Eleanor sends him two books instead of one. Sophie, the interrogator, is tortured and attacked by Navami. Naomi knows Peter planted a bug on Sophie, allowing her to access the data. Sophie is tortured and attacked by Navami, who activates the box. Then the CIA people start waiting for Peter to arrive. After getting the signal, Peter gets ready for the fight, who then quickly goes to the CIA base and starts killing the agents. But the news of his arrival comes to Naomi, who starts sending all her agents after Peter. But Peter was too powerful and starts moving forward, killing these agents. Due to which, Naomi realises that these agents are no match for Peter. If she could, she starts making plans to use Sophia as a hostage. But Agent Kim, she is against the plan because no child should be used like this. But Naomi pays attention to her words and shoots Agent Kim, obviously, and can go to any extent for her work. He reaches Naomi while killing the bad guys, but before he can save his daughter, Naomi's killer, Daniels, arrives here, who obviously wants to prove himself by killing Peter. In the movie, Peter is the hero who brings Daniel to the top and helps his daughter Sophia. He goes to Navami to save her, but is tricked by Navami. Peter learns that Navami wants to kill Peter because he was the first agent in an internship project. Fern arrives and Peter reminisces about his adoptive father Brian who betrayed him. Brian reveals that Peter was the best agent but wanted an army instead. The internship project was designed to train children by temporarily blinding them. Peter is broken and questions the old man about Sophia who was kidnapped as a child. Sophia discovers that the old man stole her childhood, wanting revenge. Eleanor is killed and Peter tries to explain to Sophia that she is their daughter. Sophia starts hazing, but Brian orders her to kill Peter. Sophia disobeys and shoots Brian and Naomi, causing Peter to take a sigh of relief. However, Sophia attacks Peter and demands the pen drive, revealing that the order is an illusion. Now she wants to carry forward the internship project, but Peter starts leaving without giving her the pen drive. Then a few days pass and Peter's life becomes normal, but then he starts hearing some sounds which make Peter smile. Apparently, because he had realised that his daughter was keeping an eye on him, obviously Sophia would kill him. Bina wants to achieve Pendra, and this is how the movie ends. So guys, like and subscribe for the movie so that we can keep getting your support.